Hi, and welcome back to the How to Make a Call Sheet series. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. In this lesson, I'll be covering how to customize the layout of your call sheet using the design page of the call sheet builder. To begin customizing the layout, in the sidebar, click a drop down menu to view the options within. We'll start with the header. Within this menu, you have the option to hide the company details, production staff details, day of days, weather, the agenda or shortened schedule, and the production notes field. These are all optional fields, so choose to hide or show whichever fields work best for you and your production. For example, if you're only doing a single day shoot, the day of days field might not be needed, so that could be hidden. To do this, simply click the option you would like to hide here on the sidebar, and it will be removed from the call sheet. Now this is all non-destructive, so if you do remove a section and add it back, any information that was populated within that section will still be there. For this example, I'm going to be using all of these sections of the header, so I'm going to leave all of the sections enabled. Moving down the sidebar, we have the grids menu next. Within this menu, you can reorganize the call sheet layout by dragging and dropping the sections into the order you would like them to appear. You can even hide sections that you don't plan to use by clicking the hide show icon here. For this specific call sheet, I know I'm not going to have any clients or extras on set. So I'm going to hide the clients, atmosphere, and extras sections on the call sheet. You'll also notice that each section has its own settings option. Clicking this will allow you to edit the name and disable or enable information from being shown within that section. For example, if I go into the talent settings, I'm going to disable the pickup and hair and makeup options because my talent is going to be arriving on set on their own hair and makeup ready. However, I am going to enable the costume wardrobe option as well as the onset option. This will let the talent know when they need to arrive to wardrobe as well as when they need to be ready to be on set. Now moving along down the sidebar, we have the styles menu. Within this menu, you can enable or disable vertical borders. Enabling these will give the call sheet sections more of a spreadsheet look. You can also modify the header text and header line colors by clicking here. Below the styles menu is the templates menu. However, we're going to be covering templates in another lesson. So we're going to jump down to the settings menu. Within this menu, we have options to edit the call sheet type, departments for crew, as well as time and temperature settings. Clicking edit next to the call sheet type will allow you to change your call sheet type from a shoot day to scout, rehearsal, or meeting. These options will change the phrasing used throughout the call sheet for whichever option you choose. Editing the department settings will allow you to change how the roles and departments are listed within the crew section of the call sheet. Here in the pop-up, on the sidebar, you can click and drag the sections to reorder them how you would like. I want the camera department to be listed directly under the production department. And within the production department, I would like the executive producer to be listed first, so I'll drag him to the top of the list. Now, once you're finished, you can click the dark area of the screen here to close the pop-up and then refresh the page so that the settings are saved. The last option within the settings menu is the time and temperature settings. Within this pop-up, you can change the country code for the phone numbers entered for your contacts, the temperature format from Fahrenheit to Celsius, the time format from a 12 hour clock to a 24 hour clock, as well as a general start time for schedules and a currency for rates entered for contacts. Once you have all of your settings set, Click save and you're done. In the next lesson, I'll be covering how to save a call sheet template. That way all of your settings are retained. 
Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified whenever new lessons are added. Again, I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.